when they talk about whether they're high kill, low kill, no kill, the no kill movement doesn't want any shelter to euthanize any adoptable animal. So how do you determine what's you, what's adoptable, what's not adoptable? And then you go on there and you, you start looking at, okay, this is what they determine is adoptable, this is what they determine is not adoptable. I've never done that. If the dog or cat came into our possession, that animal counts. We have court orders, we have aggressive animals, we have so severely injured animals that they're just suffering. There's a whole list that's acceptable for the no-kill movement that I just throw out the window. If it walks through the door, if it's brought through the door, if we pick it up on the street, that animal to me counts. It's important. So am I a no-kill shelter? No. We will never be a 100% no-kill because I will not leave an animal suffering if it's more humane to put it down. We will never be a 100% no-kill because I will not leave an animal suffering if it's more humane to put it down. There's a whole slew of reasons why some animals get put down. People want to hide behind this adoptable. People want to hide behind this adoptable. The no-kill movement's all about the adoptable animals. People want to hide behind this adoptable. From day one, we'll go back again. Why don't you post why you euthanized them? You wanna know what my answer's always been and always will be? What difference does it make why we euthanize them? Is it to make you feel better? Is it to try and make me feel better? The hardest part is the situation we're finding ourselves into now where you just don't have any kennel space left and now you're euthanizing because of space. That's where shelters really start getting a little frustrated and you have to keep reminding your shelter staff and yourself. That, let me just talk about me. I have to remind myself almost every day about remember empathy. Remember that people have a different reason that they're doing things and um, I don't want to just come out here and chew someone's head off because they're turning an animal into me. Uh, maybe they don't follow Facebook. Maybe they don't know how full we are. Maybe they don't realize that I have zero kennel space left and, and now I'm back there and I have to make a determination um, and things... I guess I'll go into that. How long do I have to hold an animal? I have to hold an animal for 72 hours. We hold them for 72 working hours and we don't count Saturday because that's only a partial day. So I get a dog in Friday afternoon. Friday won't count because we haven't been open all day by the time that we got the animal. Saturday don't count because we're only open part of the day. Sunday don't count because we're closed. Monday don't count because we're closed. Next week, which is the next subject I have to talk about, we're closed on Tuesday because it's 4th of July. 4th of July don't count. Monday will be the first day we start counting. So on Wednesday. So Thursday has been 24 hours. Friday will be 48 hours. You go all the way to the next Tuesday and we get through that Tuesday. Now you've hit your 72 hours. That Wednesday I can then select them for surgery. And then because of the amount, the the amount of animals coming into the shelter, there could be a two week backlog getting that animal now into surgery. Setting ourselves goals and trying to keep things into perspective and, and keep our own empathy. Yeah, it's frustrating. Yeah, sometimes it's hard, but this staff is so amazing. The volunteers that come down here, those volunteers don't have to be here. They come down here and they invest their time they invest their effort, their heart, their soul. It's amazing when you see them tear up because their special animal got adopted and got out. And in the same token, I believe the cat's still in there, but it's still back from lucky day to be adopted. That would be for St. Patrick's Day. Why do I have a cat in there from March? At what point do we decide, okay, this one's had way more than enough opportunity and we're gonna have to euthanize that to move another one up because there's only so much space in um, cat adoption just like dogs.